the two things that I still want to make are a sword and a cloak. So I think we'll start with the cloak. Now the cloak of everything is the piece that you really couldn't do at home. I hope this is going to work. You know I said about the nine foot tall still walking costumes that is my day job. Well this is my skirt. So if I hold it up so it's on the, the hem is on the floor, it's this tall compared to me and it's completely covered in flowers and leaves. It's, you know, it's really not something you should have lying around the house and it is, like I say, probably a good thousand pounds on its own just of flowers and leaves, not including labour. These costumes insured for about 30,000 pounds at the moment. So I know that for a one day costume, this is not an achievable possible thing, but because I've got it, I thought I may as well see if I can use it as a cloak because if it works, if my idea works, then it will look epic. That's the light. <laughs> So that's probably how I'm planning on wearing it. I hope you can actually see it. Um, what I need to do next, because it's actually a skirt, what I've done is tied off the waistband, closed it up, um, and then it's worn, so the waistband's across the back of my neck. The two waist straps then go down here and tie behind my back. It means that the top half, which is normally not visible because it's underneath the corset bustier piece of my costume, is visible which means it's not very attractive so what I need to do now is just make a little rough thing to go at the back over the top of that bit and hide the fact that it's a repurposed skirt and make it look actually like a cloak. For that I've got I have some brown leather that I was gonna make a different shape of cloak over the top I'm not completely sure if I'll use it um, I've also got most of a leaf skirt that you saw me cut apart to make the skirt for dress. just going to pause and go get some more long ivy because I'm thinking at the moment that it's just a bit of a harsh divide between fabric and flowers and so what I need is to just blend them a bit um, and I didn't bring enough of the long ivy. I'm actually taking apart a costume I shouldn't really be taking apart in order to get the long pieces that I put on the skirt but I'm going to go nick a couple more anyway I'll be back in a sec. Hey, I'm back. I got the things I'm looking for. I've got some ivy and I've also got this wisteria so I'm going to see if that helps with the blend between the cloak and the dress. It's annoying me a little bit. 
Lashley. I was gonna say I think I'm finished, but there's one bit missing. Maybe that's better. I can actually see it better on on here on the screen because it's more what it would look like in photos. So um, quite often when I'm building, I take photos of stuff as I go along because it looks different to how it looks in person as it does on camera and obviously if I'm making it for photo shoot it's more useful for me to know what it looks like on camera and what it's actually going to come across as when I post it up on Patreon or on Instagram or anywhere really. And so I think that's pretty much done. I'll just spin it and show you some of the different looks. That's it from the side. Um, you can see it's really leaning back it's obviously moving differently on the mannequin as it will on me i'm not going to fall over backwards because of the weight i'm quite used to the weight um, this costume when i wear it on stilts is about 20 25 kilos in total that i'm wearing between this skirt the rest of my costume the steel boned hoop skirt the stilts like everything that goes with it i'm used to wearing yeah like 20 25 kilograms in 30 plus degree heat so whereas the mannequin is falling over hopefully I'll be fine there's nothing I can really do to stop it falling but there she is I've got boots to go with it they're really plain but um, we got them in the charity shop so they're just a really cheap addition I can't get them to stand up, that was a nice idea. Yep, so you can see the things that are missing is obviously the wig, um, which like I say is currently in Kent and I'm in Suffolk, so that's not very helpful. I'll get that, finish it up, and uh, probably post some selfies and stuff on Instagram of it in progress so you'll see it soon. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just make up really quickly a sword. that's kind of what happens if you see on Instagram that one day I don't have a costume and the next day I suddenly have a costume this is kind of what's happening and yeah where I'm making it I'm pretty pleased with it I'm going to take some pictures now and now probably end up tweaking it a bit more before I shoot um, I hope you have enjoyed my first ever nerd princess YouTube video you can follow me on Instagram, that's where I post almost all my stuff. Patreon is where I do all my sexy Warhammer cosplay. Uh, I'll put all the links in the description. I think that's what people normally do. I don't actually spend much time on YouTube. I also have got a website which has some of my costumes and stuff on it. Um, but I'm most active on Instagram. So if you want to see what I'm kind of up to and what miniatures I'm painting, what cosplays I'm making, then Instagram is the place. 